five, the flag of the world. When I was a boy, there were two curious men running about who were called the optimist and the pessimist. Now, I constantly used the words myself, but I cheerfully confess that I never had any very special idea of what they meant. The only thing which might be considered evident was that they could not mean what they said. For the ordinary verbal explanation was that the optimist thought this world as good as it could be, while the pessimist uh, thought it as bad as it could be. Both these statements being obviously raving nonsense, one had to cast about for other explanations. An optimist could not mean a man who thought everything right and nothing wrong, for that is meaningless. It is like calling everything right and nothing left. Upon the whole, I came to the conclusion that the optimist thought everything good except the pessimist, and that the pessimist uh, thought everything bad except himself. It would be unfair to admit altogether from the list the mysterious but suggestive definition said to have been given by a little girl. An optimist is a man who looks after your eyes, and a pessimist is a man who looks after your feet. I am not sure that this is not the best definition of all. There is even a sort of allegorical truth in it. For there might perhaps be a profitable distinction drawn between that drearier thinker who thinks merely of our contact with the earth from moment to moment, and that happier thinker who considers rather our primary power of vision and of choice of road. <laughs>